You know, there were some good songs that came out last year. All right, well, I got a better what? one. Welcome to the Stoner Show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the best albums we feel, and actually, we'll get to it, uh, are from 2015. Uh, last episode, if you guys tuned in, if not, uh, remember the last episode, we played a game and uh, we Are talked about uh, music, the best top 10 of um, 2015. Yeah, and, and they were they were they were not that great because not that great. We were looking at the pop ones, the pop songs, the songs that you're fed, the songs that you're listening to, the ones on the radio. So we, they suck. They did shit, right? But there were tons of great songs that came out that weren't uh, those songs. So we're going to go through the songs that we have. Uh, my friend Alan Bray, he's a Our really friend. chill guy. Yeah, Our Alan. Friend. Alan Bray. It's a philosopher. Well, he's nice also somewhat of a music critic. You ready he, for this? He made Alan Bray. Alan Bray. Bray. Oh, right. All right. There he is. That's him. He's great. Look like how happy that fucking guy is. Happy motherfucker. Look Don't talk that. politics. He'll get very, very angry. angry. Get very but angry. But back to it. He remade a list of, yeah, he, what was it? The top uh, 10? Top 10 best albums of 2015. Now, this is totally different than the top 10 He does this every year. We might actually have other episodes based on his previous years just to have a throwback <laughs> to those years. Um... Obviously, I don't know if we could find those, but maybe we, we can. Go, we don't even need to find those. We'll just ask him. Yeah, we'll, he's the album guy. He's the album, album guy. of anything. He knows it. I'm yeah. the game uh, guy. Album guy. Uh, our buddy Steven is the movie guy. I'll give him that. He, I'm more of a yeah, game Steven's guy. Movie he's guy. a movie guy. He could pick anyone's face. I know up. a lot about artists. I don't oh, know a lot about artists. the albums, though. That's the thing. Yeah. He knows everything about any everything album, about any, album. any song, any album. But we digress. Uh, what are his top the list. ten? What's his well, list? Well, what I did was I, could, I took the list and I, I took the songs out because I used them for a future game for him to play. I'm gonna have a game for you. Oh, a game fun. for me. So I took the songs out. I, I used some of the songs from those albums. So I took those out so that you wouldn't have any inkling of who the bands were. And I am left with a problem. couple. Uh, Beach House had an album come out Ooh, in 2015. I actually haven't heard that yet. What is it? Uh, Depression Cherry. I, I love it. I it's love great. I've listened to it about five times. Uh, Alan told me about it first when, when it came out. They had another album came out at the same time. What's, the, what's, and their, Depression song Cherry was what's their best song? I'm not sure what that was. You know what? We're going to play uh, I get, I one of the that songs much, off the album right here. Pretty chill. Pretty I love cool. it. I listened to it like three or four times. It's still kind of... I mean, it's, each house is really chill, but uh, we digress, let's get back into this. Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. You know, I haven't heard that much Kendrick Lamar. Uh, I'll give him a chance, though, because I did like him on uh, Tech Nine's Fragile video. Have you seen that? I like Tech I have Nine. seen that. That's great. Tech Nine's really chill, too. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if he had an album this yeah, year. If well, he did, we'll put it right here. Yeah, I don't know. I listened to uh, Kendrick Lamar's album when, Alan, when I saw this list for the first time. I listened to it through once. And you know, I liked it. I didn't have a chance to go back to it yet, but I, had, I didn't have any complaints when I listened to it. I thought it was pretty good. Hmm. I thought it was overall pretty good. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Black Moth Super Rainbow. I know you have. Oh, yeah. Black, Black Moth Super, Super Rainbow. Rainbow. Fantastic. <laughs> they have an album called Eating Us, an album called Dandelion Gum. Um, Born on a Day, the Sun Didn't Rise is That's a great song. And uh, they had an album come out to, uh, They had an album come out this year called... What is it called? Sifu Lilac. I haven't heard that either, but I'm sure it's fantastic. I'm surprised I, heard I like haven't heard that. I songs off of it. I probably oh, heard I'm going to sit down and listen to that because I love tobacco. Tobacco has a successful side career, too. Mm -hmm. Tobacco is the main influence of uh, Black Moth Super Rainbow. It's really chilly. You should check it out. Their name's really unique. But it's kind of like a drummer and like three, like, you know, just keyboardists everywhere. It's like, and, and tobacco. He's just making all these sounds with his. The synth vocals. He's it's really fantastic. chill. Sings through like a vocoder. It sounds you know, really uh, with the way he uses his vocoder, wouldn't you say he's kind of the Peter Frampton of our day? <laughs> no. No, he's not. I would not say no, that. No, I don't even know where that came from. I would not say that. You... So, what was next on his list there? I got Vince Staples, Summertime 06. Really? I haven't heard of Vince Staples. So, Vince Staples is kind of like, he's a rapper, right? Really good. I listened to a couple songs earlier today. Didn't get a chance to listen to it before that. Um, but I really liked it. I'm gonna give it a shot. 
We we'll uh, have one of those songs. Yeah, I thought it was really chill. I think one of them was. No, I don't, I don't remember. That might have been one of the Kendrick Lamar songs that I was listening. You know what? I'm gonna get one of those to so play right here. The important thing is, are you smoking? Uh, obviously. Yeah. I mean, who the fuck looks up the Stoner Show and does it? So what's the next? Um, hell, Dark Magic. Hell. Have not had a chance to listen to my side. That's myself. Haven't heard that. I, I have no idea. You know what, what though? This I is. guarantee you. What what numbers? That's probably like. I, I don't have the it's numbers no, because no I took some out. But you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's probably a good album to listen to. Alan really doesn't listen to shit music. Um, no, that's really good. Yeah. You know what's not? Oh, I'm I don't need a fucking hey, straw. Hey. I'll drink this like a fucking man. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. You know what's not on this list? <sighs> Little Wayne. Yeah, so what's Lil the Wayne. next you know, album on this list? Bruno Mars. Oh but go watch the previous episode. You know, you know what? I don't really, I, I don't have a, a a bad problem with Bruno himself. But you know what? I have no problem with Bruno. So yeah, Bruno's pretty chill. So what I got next is Earl Sweatshirt. Seventeen thirty-eight. Earl Sweatshirt. Fuck that. <laughs> We're gonna make a video actually in the next month or so. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks we're gonna make a video, a parody video of uh, Trap Queen, I think it is, right? Trap Queen, I'm pretty sure that's what you're saying. And, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a parody video. I think it's gonna be called uh, Freddy Wop. Just, just, just Freddy because. Wop. I'm gonna personally call out Maroon 5 on this. Uh, no, we're not gonna- Trap Queen Freddy Wop. Freddy Wop. Trap Queen Freddy Wop. Well, that's what I was, I was fucking saying. Earl Sweatshirt. Okay, he's great. Check him out. Okay. Yeah, we saw that. We did blah, 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 blah. Who's who else on this? You said hell. Now, 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 now. I didn't even get to tell you. Fucking Earl Sweatshirt's album title. Oh, what was his album title? Hey, hey, calm down. Socialism. Socialism. Love that shit. Socialism. It's good shit. Socialism. All right, I'm good. Calming it. God damn it. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Is that the name? That's the name of the album by Earl Sweatshirt. I don't like shit. I, I like that. Outside. I like that. Billy! I like that a lot. So. Sorry, Billy was acting up again. Yeah, not really sure what's up with that. I'm really not sure what's up with that. But, um, is that it? Is that is that the list? It looks like that's the list. That is the list because I have a game we're going to play, and the game is called Guess That Song. Oh, thank fuck! He's pissed. Oh my god! He's he's such a sick way to zap it again. Uh, that guy sucks. Yeah, yeah. We should have fucking had the fucking. Why don't we ever fucking? We never fucking write it down. We never even fucking talk about it. We have a tablet right here. We could have written it on. Got but instead, oh shit! Here he goes. first song. Jesus, I'm not gonna... You're guessing the artist. It's actually really chill. Yeah. Um, I love this band. They have one album that I'm a big fan of. Uh, and then this album is really, really good. It's too. not Daughter, is it? No, it is not. It's a female singer, that's what it has me off. Where's that? It's not a female singer, actually. Really? Oh, I man, I apologize, because it's really chill. Props to him, man. It is really chill, actually. There you go, buddy. Yeah, hit there. Who do you think it is? 
Who do you think it is? Shit. Who do you think it is? We don't have all fucking days. People are sitting around waiting. They might not even keep oh, the fucking interest going. I want that egg. Is it? It's not healthy. You probably it's listen healthy. to that. They have an album called Wondrous Bug House. Oh my god. I had it in my car for approximately like two years. It's not the flavor list. No, sir. Did it? Oh, it, no, it's not. Then who is it? Youth Lagoon. God. From the album Save Hill Ballroom. I like that album. I've heard that album, actually. God damn it. All right. Youth Lagoon. They're really chill. Wondrous Bug House. They are. Fuck. I listen to them. All right. Next, here we got. You've also heard this. This one seems to give us issues a lot, so we're going to go on to this one. So groovy. All these songs are also on Alan's list. I know it's not them, I don't think it's them, but you know, it reminds me a lot of the orcs. Name all the bears. All the what? All the bears. All the bears? All the bears. Um, There's lots of bears. You'll find it. It's a bear. I'll give you that. They're great. The Alan Gray saw them in concert. Gray bears? Black what? bears? No, what? Come on. Gray bears? I'm talking about bands, not fucking the... Ah. Not the bear! I thought you said bear. bear. We've listened to this a couple times. All right, you lose that part. Okay, Fuck. you ready? I thought you said bear. Panda bear. <laughs> Panda Bear, the band Panda Bear. You probably us listen to Panda Bear all the time. Oh, Panda what? Bear, they're great. This is Come to Your Senses. Good for Off of the album me. Panda Bear meets the Grim Reaper. God damn it. All right. Yeah, it's hard, man. Shit. See, this is the position I was in, and everyone's like, oh, why aren't you winning the games? Yeah. Why aren't you winning the but games, like, Nick? Go fuck up. Go fuck up. It's been three times, though, man. Well, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass in the next round, okay? <laughs> okay, alright, so I got two more songs for you. Alright, let's do this. I love listening to this band of smoking, chilling, laying on my bed. So do I. This is, uh. I've heard this song before, too. Is it just the artist's name or the song name? Uh. Either. It starts with a T. Um, it does. I don't really. Yeah, it does. Fucking does, man. You can yeah. buy a vowel. Kenny, Tender. are you the game instructor? Tender. She is, I guess. Yes, indeed. Oh my God! Now she turned into Bruce. What's the vowel? Jenner. Let me get a vowel. Is there an A? You got three A's. Tame. Tame. Tame Impala? It is in fact Tame oh, Impala. Shit. With, cause I'm a man, off the album. Uh, I don't really have it right here in front of me, but it's right fucking there. You see that shit? You see that album? Where? It's also in the link. It's also in the description. Get yep. the link in the description. Oh. We're gonna fucking shove it into Little Link from a previous episode. And Little then Link. duct tape Little Link to the fucking YouTube all right. video. Alright, alright. What's your next song? What's your next song? Wait, no, these people ain't got time for this shit. You ain't got time for this shit. Alright, I'll stop wasting your time. I got some of this. I've heard this before too. You played this before, Nick. Oh, I'm hitting that well. Uh, neon something. What? How'd you get that? I forget that. What's oh? There's another word there. Neon. What's the first letter of the other word? No, you don't get that. You already got neon. Well, does that count? Do I win? No, you don't. Get the name. With no more hints. You already are halfway there. You don't get a hint for that. Neon Tom Tamara? What? No. It's Neon something. I know that. What do you think? There's a band called Neon Trees. It's not the Neon Trees. It's better than Neon Trees. There's a band called... 
Is it an I? Yeah. Neon uh, implement? No. No. I give up. Give up? Yeah, I don't got it. Neon, Neon Indian. Indian. Oh my God. God damn it. Well, because you got. Neon Indians really chill, okay? They are I'm really chill. Of, of I have to ball. say, I confidently feel like he should at least get a half a point. He, he got the neon in the eye. Okay, you can break this egg because I already cracked it, kind of. Oh. So I'm going to give you the egg anyway. You, you technically didn't win. That's fine. Maybe but we should both break it together. You did pretty good. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, dude? Stop that. This is too much to handle. Oh my god. That was awesome. You almost won. But, not quite, but I still let you do the egg. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why'd you have to do it like that? I have to think. There's egg everywhere. So what do. When I smash eggs, they're much more controlled. and don't make nearly as much of a mess. I don't uh, treat them that way after they're smashed. I like to treat them with respect and just clean them up right away and get them out of there. He likes to uh, really get in there, but I feel like they feel violated. He feels like they're, he's like treating them lovingly, but I think he's treating them a little too lovingly. It, Gets a little strange, but it's not that bad. He won the egg. You got to do with it whatever he wanted to egg. do. So I wanted to thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks for clicking on this video. Make sure to you know like this Comment, video. Subscribe. Make sure we'll to subscribe. We'll have all the videos in the, that we played throughout this episode in the description below, and anything else in the description below. All the comments you comment will be written in our book, like we've said every other episode. High five, book. Nick. I don't have the book right yeah. now. High five. No, thank five. you. I'm going to touch you somewhere. No, no. Huh? Oh, God. Ah. Oh, your egg is all I over. There's I egg everywhere. I Stop five. it. No. Oh, five. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Already did. Yeah, but wouldn't you say he's kind of the Peter Frampton of our day? No. Earl Sweatshirt. 1738. Oh, fuck that. Uh, he's so. such a nice guy.